to this today's show is very special. It's special because it's a lot of things that's going on right now in people's relationships that need to be talked about. Domestic violence is probably the top five. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people that's angry. It's a lot of people that's, that's upset, you know? So basically, before I do anything, I want to shout out to a couple of people. Rest in peace. Lord bless, bless me videos. Shout out M. Dot Music, New York Law School, Ted Hicks, Aldo Grillo, Rich Valdez, Sadat Thomas, Kayon Dennis, Vanille Thomas. Shout out to OIT, New York Law School. Y'all know, you know, I like to play music. I like to joke around, I like to fool around, but I had to put this show together because it's still, it's a lot of things going on in people's relationships, and we got to get to the bottom. It's a disease. Domestic violence is a disease, and we need to get to the bottom of this. So I'm going to read a couple of things here that I actually found and printed it out, you know. Basically, how is everybody's relationship? Does your partner, I'm going to start, first of all, I'm going to start with the fellas, and then I'm going to start, then I'm going to take care of the ladies. You know what I'm saying? Fellas, if y'all watching right now, you need to go get a drink. You need to go really listen to what I have to say. Does your, does your partner embarrass you with put-downs? Look at your act in ways that scare you. Control what you do, who you see or talk to, or where you go. Stop you from seeing your friends or family members. Take your money or social security check. Make you ask for money or refuse to give you money. Make all of the, the decisions. Tell you that you're a bad parent or threaten to take away or hurt your children. Prevent you from working or attending school. Act like the abuse is no big deal. It's your fault or even denying doing it. Destroy your property or threaten to kill your pets. Intimidate you with guns, knives, or other weapons. Shove you, slap you, choke you, or hit you. Force you to try and drop charges. Threaten to commit suicide threatened to kill you if you answer yes to even one of these questions you may be in a in an abusive relationship now i'm gonna start with the fellas man because a majority of, of the abusive relationships it is with you fellas what the hell is going on here you're pissed off you're, you're beating you're coming home you're cursing your woman out you're beating up on your woman because you pissed off because things didn't go your way that day what the hell is on your mind? You know what I'm saying? You need help. To all the fellas that's watching this all good TV and you beating up on people for no reason at all, you need help. You know what I'm saying? And basically, for the people that's beating up on their women, they're either insecure you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of insecure people out here, and the only way they can uh, release their frustration is to beat up on people. You know? You're cursing your woman out. She taking care of your kids, not even her kids, and her kids too, from her previous relationships, and, and you mad, and you beating her up. You know what I'm saying? Cursing her out, taking it out on the kids too, because you had a bad day at the job or you lost your dice game, or you dropped the bottle of Hennessy that somebody else paid for. You know what I'm saying? Abusive relationships, man, start, it has to start from somewhere. I'm not going to curse you out, fellas. Everybody that's watching right now, and, you, and you've been hitting your woman for the last couple of weeks or the last couple of or, or years or months, go get some help. That's what this show is all about, man. You need to go get some help. Because people that beat up on other people, they've been beaten up when they was younger. They've been abused when they was younger. Either their father beat them up or their mother beat them up. So it tends to, to follow them until their, until their adulthood, 
you know, which they never talk about with their new relationship, and they end up beating up on their new relationship. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to all you fellas out there, man. Go get some help, man. If you think you need help because you just just down to your woman, your woman want to uplift her, herself, she want to uplift her family, she want to uplift you, and you just want to beat up on and curse her out and belittle her and down her and stuff like that, you, you need help. Here's a number to go to. Right here, domestic violence. And fellas, you can call this number two, man, and get some help. There's always somebody that will be there, a representative to be there to talk to you. Because you need help. I'm going to finish reading some more stuff here. Get educated. What is domestic violence? Domestic violence can be defined as a pattern of behavior in any relationship that is, used, that is used to gain or maintain power and control over an intimate partner. Abuse is physical, sexual, emotional, economic, or psychological actions or threats of actions that influence another person. This includes any behaviors, behaviors that frighten, intimidate, terrorize, manipulate, hurt, humiliate, blame, injure, or wound someone. You may be involved in an abusive relationship if your partner, sexual orientation, religion, or gender. It can happen to couples who are married, living together, or who are dating. Domestic violence affects people of all socioeconomic backgrounds and, edu and education levels. You know what I'm saying? Y'all heard what I just said. It could affect anybody, whether you have money or whether you don't have money. It can affect anybody, rich, poor, middle class. It's in everybody's relationship, man. You be you may be in an emotional abusive relationship if your partner calls you names, insults you, or continually continually criticizes you, does not trust you, and acts jealous or possessive, tries to isolate you from family or friends, monitors where you go, who you call, and who you spend time with, does not want you to work, control finances, or if, or refuses to share money. Punish you by withholding affection. Expect you to ask permission. Threatens to hurt you, the children, your family, or your pets. Humiliates you in any way. You may be in a physical abusive relationship if your partner has ever damaged property, property when angry, thrown objects, punched walls, kicked doors, etc. Pushed, slapped, bitten, kicked, or choked you. Abandon you in a serious or dangerous or unfamiliar place. Scared you by driving recklessly. Used a weapon to threaten or hurt you. Forced you to leave your home. Trapped you in your home or kept you from leaving. Prevented you from calling police or seeking medical attention. Hurt your children. Used physical force in sexual situations. You may be in a sexual abusive relationship if your partner views women as objects and believes in rigged gender roles, accuses you of cheating or is often jealous of your outside relationships, wants you to dress in a sexual way, insults you in sexual ways or calls you sexual names, has ever forced or manipulated you into having sex or performing sexual acts, held you down during sex, demanded sex when you were sick, tired, or after beating you, hurt you with weapons or objects during sex, Involved other people in sexual activities with you. Ignored your feelings regarding sex. Now, I'm talking to all the fellas out there. You probably watching this all good TV and you finished beating your woman. You know what I mean? Yo, you need to go get some help. I'm serious. 